Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm going to just do a quick little cook with me. We're going to a, a party in about an hour or so, and I have to bring an hors d'oeuvre. So I'm going to bring something that's called savory parmesan chicken bites. Che parmesan cheese bites, I'm sorry. And here's what the, men the recipe looks like, although I will put it down below. But you could stop your, your film right now and look at it. Um, <clears throat> it's made with the croissant dough. And the ingredients are one package of softened cream cheese, one cup of grated Parmesan cheese uh, divided, two cans of croissant rolls, one cup of chopped red pepper, and you can use the jars of roasted red pepper, and that's what I use is the roasted red pepper. What I do with it is I take it out of the jar, drain it, and then dry it with a paper towel before I chop it up uh, to make sure it's not wet because it'll make your dough wet. A quarter cup of chopped fresh parsley. So um, we're going to... I'm just reading this quickly. Okay, got it. All right, so I'm going to put the camera down, show you the ingredients, and we'll get started. Be right back. Okay, I have my oven preheating at to 350, and I'm going to open up the first can of these. Maybe. Oh, try this in. <laughs> And I open just one can at a time because the dough gets so hard to cut if it sits out here for a while. And this is the chopped uh, red peppers. I've already chopped them. The parsley is here. And I've already mixed with my electric mixer the 8 ounces of cream cheese and the 3 quarters of a cup of Parmesan. The, the other quarter of a cup will go on the top. Now this says to separate these into triangles, I mean uh, rectangles, and pinch the seams together. And I don't know if I said it, but my oven is heating to 350. And already this dough is hard to handle. I'm in Florida, which makes it a little more difficult, but I do have the air on. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to take about three tablespoons each one of these oh, my oven is ready and I'm just going to spread it out and it's, it's really imperative that the um, cream cheese be get this out of the way sorry that the cream cheese be soft because it just won't spread on this dough. I think this one needs a little more. has a little too much. Okay, now we're just going to sprinkle with some of the red pepper. Thank you. 
and the chopped parsley. And it says to take the long side and fold it over to the middle. Okay, I'll do this one this way. And that gets so soft, this dough. And then we're going to fold it one more time to enclose the whole thing. And I'm just going to try to move it over here a little bit. There we go. Fold this one more time. And cut each one into four equal pieces. Place them seam side down on your cookie sheet. And I have my cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing now. Okay, one in the middle, the middle of that, and the middle of that. the other ones halfway then the rest of the way and let's see if I can pick up this log and kind of move it out of the way here get a better fold Halfway, halfway, halfway. It makes, uh, the recipe makes 32 pieces. And I'm attempting to put these seam side down. <laughs> so soft you have to kind of work fast I'm going to just get some of this off of here so that it doesn't uh, impact that other package of rolls getting it stuck on there. And what I'm going to do with this one, I'm going to stick this right in the refrigerator. Until I've got them both ready. I gotta get another pan out, sorry. Crash bang. And I'll show you what I use. I love these parchment sheets. 
Um, I, you know, I always bought the big roll of parchment paper, but there, it can be a real pain in the neck, and the sheets work so well. All right, let's see if we can get this one put together. If you find that the dough is so soft that you can't really cut it, you can uh, put it in the refrigerator for a while before you try to cut it. Actually, you can put it in the freezer for about five minutes. Works just great. And I'm going to use the knife to separate it because it is just too soft to try to pull them apart. They won't pull apart right. I'm just separating them a little bit. Makes it easier to fold them. You know, every time we go to this um, event, it's called Rounders, and they have it once a month, and they celebrate the anniversaries and birthdays. Uh, people who live in this community year-round, because this is very much a, a seasonal community, and probably 80% of the people will leave for their northern homes next month. And so in the summertime especially, it's nice because uh, there's 1,112 homes here, but, you know, in the summertime, we're all spread out, those of us who are still here. And uh, so this gives us a chance to say hello, because you don't see each other as often. over here because if you get too much on there they're the devil's own to try to fold Here we go. You know, I found actually, what did I do? Oh, yeah, the knife made it easier. here and you can see the cookie sheet
it here. Put the ball out. <laughs> now we'll put it on that one. I'm pinching those seams again a little bit. They tend to separate. One more. Thank goodness for crescent rolls. Oh, you can't see this one, but I think you've seen the rest of them anyway. Your phone is ringing. Oh, my Bob's oh. phone is ringing. <laughs> Not mine. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just before I put them in the oven, um, I'm going to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese. The other quarter of a cup that we had. Now these go in the oven for 13 to 15 minutes, so I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Uh, now if I can find a clean hand, <laughs> I'm going to shut off the camera. Well here they are, fresh from the oven, and I mean fresh from the oven. Um, I'm just going to let them cool a little bit before I can even put them on the plate to take with me. I give you a taste test, but they are absolutely red, red, red hot right now. And you know, there's nothing hotter than melted cheese. So I've got to wait a little bit, but I'll tell you what, I'll let you know how everybody thought about them. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it. It's a nice little hors d'oeuvre. doesn't take much to make it. Simple ingredients, and everybody I've ever taken them to enjoys them. So anyway, um, let me just come on up here for a minute and say thanks again for stopping by. Uh, if you like this kind of video, let me know because I have lots of other cooking videos to make. I have a great casserole uh, for chicken cordon bleu, which is a nice company dish that I'd like to try with you sometime. So anyway, have a great evening and I will see you next time. Everybody play nice now.